This video will walk you through how to get started transcribing in the National Archives catalog. First, in order to contribute to the catalog, you have to register for an account. Click here in the upper right corner to do so. Our accounts are handled by login.gov. If you use other government websites, you might already have a login.gov account. If not, you can create an account now by clicking on Create an Account. Once you're logged in, you can get started transcribing. From the Catalog home page, navigate to the Citizen Archivist dashboard. Here, you'll find lots of information to guide you through the process of adding transcriptions, tags, and comments. So you may want to spend some time here reading our resources and FAQ pages. There's also a link to History Hub, an online forum where catalog users can seek the help of other researchers. There's a specific forum for citizen archivists there. Any record in the catalog can be transcribed, but since there's an overwhelming number of records, we've organized some of them into missions. You can see them by clicking on Citizen Archivist Missions. Each box you see here will bring you to a special collection of records to transcribe. If you click on our special Revolutionary War Pension Mission, you'll see that we further organized these records by state because it's such a large mission. In addition to these missions, we have featured records. You can find these by scrolling down the page. They've been divided up by skill level, so you can get a good sense of the different kinds of documents we have by looking through these. When you start to look at the records, you'll see that they vary greatly in size. Some, like this one, are a single page, while others run over a thousand pages. We ask you to work on one page at a time. So if you open a record and see 800 pages, don't think you have to transcribe all 800. Just do what you can. The pages of the record appear here on the right hand side. You might notice that some records have a PDF as their last file. This PDF collects all of the pages of the document in one file to make downloading easier. This document is so long it's been collected into two PDFs. You do not need to transcribe the PDFs. Up here above the large image, you'll see the word transcription. Next to that, it will either say available or not started. Available means that a transcription has been started. But since this is a crowdsourced project, you can look at and edit existing ex transcriptions. But right now, we want to find a page that no one has started. The fastest way to do that is to look at the details view. Now switch to the list view. And then you can just scroll down and see which pages haven't been started. Now that we've found a page, we need to open the transcription box. So we can close the list view and click on Not Started up here above the image. This is the transcription window. You can move it around the screen by clicking on the four arrows in the corner. You can also resize it by dragging the edges. You can zoom in on the document and move it around too. For a more detailed demonstration of that, check out our moving and resizing video. When you're happy with the placement of the document and the transcription box, click Start Transcribing. You don't need to worry about formatting when you're transcribing. The purpose of the transcription is to make the catalog keyword searchable. So as long as the words are being entered, the transcription is fine. You don't need to do hard returns 
or match each line of the text to the lines in the transcription box. If a word in the original has been split in two with a hyphen over two lines, we ask you to remove the hyphen so the word can be read by our search engine. The catalog has an autosave feature for transcriptions, and you might find that it slows you down, especially during times of high usage. When you're done transcribing, click Publish and Close. If you forgot to click Publish or Close, and you do something like close the browser or the website, the autosave will save your transcription, but it might take a few hours before it appears in the catalog. What if you can't make out a word? It's fine to enter something like illegible in square brackets when you can't make out something because of a smudge, tear, or poor handwriting. Some of our records have machine-generated text that can be viewed in the extracted text field. You'll probably notice great variation in its accuracy. You can't edit the extracted text, but you can copy it and paste it into the transcription box and edit it there. So click on Start Transcribing in the transcription box, and then you can highlight the text in the extracted text box, copy it, paste it into the transcription field, and take a look at it. Don't worry so much about getting each line matched up or anything like that. The formatting isn't that important. Here, it looks like this is a pretty common mistake. It looks like the one has come in as maybe a lowercase l. So we'll delete that and make it a one. And then just like with the other transcription, we click publish and close. So the extracted text can be a great tool to help speed up transcription. Now, what if you get only halfway through a page? You can come back to the same page easily by going to your account page. Just click up here on the circle in the upper right corner. This page will show you your most recent contributions. You can open the record from here and continue transcribing if you need to. It's also an easy way to find another page in the same file if you'd like to keep working on that file. We often get asked by new users how to get the transcriptions approved. We use a collaborative model, sort of like Wikipedia. Once you hit Publish and Close, your transcription is visible and searchable in the catalog. It can also be edited by any registered user. So if there are any mistakes or if you were unable to decipher a word, a future citizen archivist might be able to fix it. Remember, if you have questions, you should check out our Get Started Transcribing page and our other resource pages. There you'll find information about transcribing things like stamps, tables, and historical handwriting. You can also email your questions to us at catalog at nara.gov.